In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now, before I go into the service, I mean, someone, I want to address a few things, just two things, or one thing in two, in two ways. Number one, you see, last week, I asked us to pray for uh, Governor Peter Obi because of what he did to that reverend. And when you see something good that somebody has done, you should say it. That this person has done this good there. But then, don't think that a um, pastor is trying to force who to support on us. No, that is not the key. A pastor is trying to force somebody on us that go and vote for this person or not. No. But when you see something good about somebody, you say it. That Reverend Father said something that everybody was angry. But the man himself, when he heard it, he said, this man is my father. I will not fight back. That is what I was commenting on. And then secondly, is, you see, there are three children of the same father. One wants to vote for Peter Obi. The second wants to vote for Atiku or Tinubu. The last one wants to vote for Tinubu. Now, both of them now quarrel. After they quarrel, now one of the three now won. And when would they settle their quarrel? What concerned them and uh, Atiku and Tinubu? So this thing of who you want to vote for, who should be president, should not be a thing of argument. It should be a thing of choice for individuals. Do you understand what I'm saying? It should be something that you prefer, something that you want. And secondly, you should allow people for their own opinion. Allow him to choose, you know, uh, Atiku, or allow him to choose uh, Tinubu, or allow him to choose Peter Obi. Allow him to choose what he wants to choose. Make your own choice. Inspire your own people. But one thing I want to say in general is this. That the church, on, the church on its own can now help you to think and say, vote for someone that is competent. Okay? The church can give you, the church will not say, uh, don't vote for this or vote for that. No. Because we don't know the heart of people, what everybody wants to do. So we are not crushing somebody's heart because of our own ideology. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So everybody must be free to make uh, his own choice, to make his own desire. That is very important. So the church must be for everybody. But one thing, we have to open your eyes that vote competence. Mm, don't vote some, somebody that it is the same game, it's the same system, it's the same uh, uh, embezzlement, it is it's the same wickedness. So, uh, that is what I believe I should add to it. And I believe the Lord will give you understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. So, as I said to you, pray for Nigeria. Pray for that country. Don't say we are not there. No, our people are there. So, pray for them and I believe the grace of God will be sufficient to strengthen us all in Jesus' name.